hi everyone welcome to your decoupage tutorial on my channel so today i thought i'll upcycle this particular bottle and for that uh, since this is a smooth surface you know glass plastic normally they have a smooth surface so for chalk paint to stick really well on top of them and not peel off over the period of time due to wear and tear i like to thoroughly sand my surface so here I'm using a medium grit paper. You could use anywhere from 150 to 200. Honestly, you know, it depends on what kind of sanding you want. But bottom line, you have to create like a coarse texture so that uh, whatever you add on top of it sticks really well. Now here I am adding a coat of gesso on top of this after sanding it and here i'm using like a foam brush to apply it you know uh, i don't prefer using brush whenever i'm applying gesso uh, because it kind of does not give me good coverage especially on smooth surfaces like these so in between i'll be drying them and then i'll be applying another coat of gesso and this is how it looks after applying two coats of gesso properly end to end now that i am happy with how everything looks i will be using liquid acrylics to kind of tint these and create a watercolor look one thing i know is i'm going to um, actually be applying a nature themed transfer on top of it which has like a blue sky and green grass so that is why i am kind of you know using similar shades of liquid acrylic so i'm using a blue uh, which will kind of mimic the sky effect so what i did was i took a very little bit of liquid acrylic and then i wetted it with some water and then i'm applying it uh, and then i'm spreading that color using water and brush that's it nothing very complicated this is just to kind of give a watercolor look in the background but we are using liquid acrylic so once it is dry it will dry permanent and these mimic watercolor look so these are perfect for you know your decoupage project now for green the green that i have in liquid acrylics is a very vibrant green and i kind of wanted to tone it down so that is why i added some brown into it to kind of make it more earthy tone of green and then i'm following the same exact concept and applying it on top of a bottle um, using you know the same technique that i did with the blue color so applying the color and then taking some water and spreading it across so it kind of gives you this watercolor kind of an effect so this is how the bottle looks now you could add as many layers of colors that you want on top of it till you are happy and here is the transfer that i have decided to use now these transfers are called watercolor springs you could of course you know pause it and um, look at the code number um, however i'll just link them below for you all all the watercolor spring transfers so you can check them out now i cut it um, as close to the design as much as possible i'm not trying to be extremely precise but i i am trying to get very less white uh, you know part in of the transfer that i'm transferring it on to now i have applied the transfer and you can see what happens is that um, the design the bottle is kind of tapering right so at the neck it is kind of the uh, reducing in the diameter so my transfer is not perfect while applying and that is why why i'm applying the water i'm kind of pushing the transfer into the bottle using that foam uh, which is with filled with water so what this does is uh, it will just give me a slight wrinkles at the top but this will make sure that the transfer is sticking at the top and you may find a little bit of wrinkles here and there now this is very common when you apply napkins or papers as well but while transferring uh, you will see you won't even see those minute details now i i let the water react with transfers for like couple of seconds which is like 15 to 20 seconds and then i start peeling it from one corner and you can see here i was you know able to peel it successfully and here you can see how the design has come so it came out very beautifully and it is not very difficult to do but you do have to give it a couple of seconds to react now i did not want this design to you know just hang on top of the bottle so that is why i kind of uh, went back with chalk paints of the same shades of green and i am kind of coloring around the grass to kind of uh, you know uh, hack it that i have actually painted it rather than it's just transferred so the transfer looks as a part of bottle painting rather than you know just grass lying in between the bottle 
सो रिमेंबर दिस इज ऑलवेज अ गुड हैक टू काइंड ऑफ यू नो एक्सटेंड योर सीन ऑन टू अ डीको पेज वॉट एवर यू आर डूइंग लाइक अ बॉक्स बॉटल एट्सेट्रा एंड दिस विल गिव द एंटायर सीन अ मोर रियलिस्टिक लुक now here i felt that you know the orange blossoms there was only that part of the design which had orange and there was not anything else that i had orange in it so i decided to do some orange splatters you know just to kind of uh, repeat the orange color on top of my project so for that i am using this liquid acrylics in orange color and i am just taking some on top of my wet brush and then i'm sprinkling that on top of the bottle this i'll do across the bottle so on the top of the bottle i'll dry it and then i'll do the other side uh, this is because if you see our transfer is kind of you know going across the design so it is kind of going in the back as well so we want to make a holistic design and not just the front so we are kind of covering all the sides of the uh, the bottle so that's it so that kind of completed the decoupage part of the bottle now i felt you know that some stickers would kind of really liven up the bottle so i kind of added these stickers from journaling sentiment which kind of uh, has some very motivational stickers on top of it and the stickers uh, that say are uh, listen to the inner peace uh, paint your world happy and choose joy every day you could honestly you know select whatever you wanted to put on top of it i decided to go with these stickers and this is how the bottle turned out now if you want you could of course you know put a coat of varnish on top of it to um, you know if you are kind of putting it outside in gallery etc i knew this was going to stay in my office so i kind of did not put varnish but that is definitely an option I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial if you did don't forget to like comment and do consider subscribing to my channel I'll see you soon with another tutorial till then guys take care bye bye